Hi guys, so today I'll show you how to clean a microwave in a very easy and simple way, no hustles and no need of extra stuff. So you just need a glass of water, don't fill it full, just fill it like three fourths of it. Then, uh, see, that's the situation of my microwave. I just, uh, <laughs> I don't bother that. I just uh, microwaved a curry and see all the splatters on the top. So this also can happen like if you go to an Airbnb or a hotel or any place outside and it which has a kitchen inbuilt uh, and uh, oh, too many things on it. Sorry. <laughs> so this was the situation after curry here. Uh, the uh, you know the ovens which are available, the microwaves which are available for the common usage. Uh, they can be like this and if you don't like it, uh, this is an easy way to do it. So I have put the uh, glass inside, I close it and uh, just, you know, warm it for 3 minutes. Okay, let it like warm steam inside and uh, we'll warm it for 3 minutes and then keep it like that for a minute. So that like it cools down a bit so that we can put our hand inside it. So let it warm a bit for a min 3 minutes and then we'll come back. Okay now the 3 minutes are over. It has been steaming for some time inside. Now let's open it. Like, sorry it's not steaming. Cooling. Okay let's take out the glass. We need tissues now. Tissues because uh, they will be clean. You can't use any random cloth inside this. If you are at home then it's good. If you have a clean nice, uh, what do you call it, a clean nice cloth for cleaning all this chin stuff. But other than that use a tissue paper. Okay, so I'll show you what this is. Okay, let's go on the top. And see how easily this is coming out. I don't know how that splattered and got over here. Let's see, it is so easy to clean. See all of that. Yuck. So you just have to. Oops. This is moving a bit. I don't know. Okay, it's safe to keep the glass down and start using it. See how oh, easy this is cleaning up. Just the steam helps you to clean it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, down also you can clean it pretty easily. Any splatters and chung. Yeah. Just such an easy thing to do. So you keep cleaning. I'll show you once I clean it thoroughly. Because I don't want to bore you with my cleaning. I'll just clean and show it to you. Clean, but there are some uh, you know, uh, some curry spots which have uh, like hardener or uh, the steam has like totally evaporated. So what I'm doing, I'm just making another round for a minute and then I'll clean the rest of the thing. And I started it for a minute. Then we'll take out the water. This time I'm not uh, waiting for like another minute or so for it to cool down because this was like very, for a very short duration so now whatever the hard stuff were there hard stains oops 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 what am I doing okay. everything will now get cleaned see there was uh, stains at the back should get clean now yeah It came out easily. Okay, 
let me clean it and get back i can now i can see it's almost clean the gravy marks on the top are gone it took like hardly a minute to clean it and uh, the plate you can take it out and separately clean it in your uh, this you can clean it in your sink kitchen sink that is also fine you can just wipe it out and clean it so you can see it's pretty easy so don't have to worry about the dirty ovens you get in an airbnb or even at your house if you have access to lemon or vinegar this will make you know make it smell even better and that will even help to you know remove the grease quicker than this but even this is a very easy and simple way to do it okay i hope you liked it and uh, if you like it give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions that is also welcome please put that in the uh, comment section below and if you like my channel please subscribe to it bye bye